水晶は呪いでしかありません人々には苦痛と欲望を与え私には永遠の命という拷問をもたらしたのですレーゲンブルク女王であるローゼンシンあなたの苦しみを許しましょうレーゲンブルクのためにスーは帝国の敵を倒すのです私は女王陛下をもし私がわずかなりとも肩代わりできるのならよいか愛人に傷がいい帝国と女王陛下をこの力素晴らしいよろしければ一緒に庭園でも散歩いたしませんか私の行いを陛下が喜んでくださっているのか Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I'm going to be clearing Act 2, Chapter 17. This one is called The Crystal Queen Rosen Seal. Soldiers of the Night of Mystery of Caconsis. It was inevitable that this sort of multi fronted battle would be full of unfortunate coincidences. How long must we wait for the encounter we're expecting? Unfortunate coincidences? What the heck does that mean? <laughs> Luck? But please accept my apologies for not bringing any special gifts to commemorate this meeting. I'm afraid I'm not a particularly sentimental person. You glib tongue deviant. If we weren't on the same side, I'd cut out your tongue. Lord Vincent of Regenberg and Lady Shalinka of Crimsonia. Why am I not surprised to see such a duel? This being the case, there is no need for any excessive negotiation between the two parties. Let us combine our old and new hatreds here. <laughs> you are nothing but a mongrel of lowly Crimsonian and mortal blood. I'll be more than happy to end you. Since my sweetheart is not here, today is just another day of hard work. The enemy only has one threatening commander. I hope we can work well together. It would be my honor to invite you to dance, Shalinka. The situation is grim, but we're not entirely unprepared. Hobo arrives! It's a bit late to rely on the mirror of will to change the direction of the marching troops. Perhaps now is the best time to enter the battlefield. Huh, interesting. Attacked by enemies to the front and rear. Still laughing now, Vincent? Tch. Looks like we'll have to deal with this separately. Pick your opponent, Shalinka. Ladies first. Hmm? And an Elusia is around. If we occupy the valley before the enemy, we can stabilize the front while supporting the Swordsmith Legion. Everyone, move quickly using the stream to your advantage. So naive. Alpha! What? The Soul Crystal Iron Guard? Regent Elusia, long time no see. <laughs> Amstel, is this fate or coincidence? It was ten years ago that the Soul Crystal Iron Guard, led by you, slaughtered the royal family of Quacunsis, plunging the kingdom into a bloody purgatory. But I won't let you do it again. I will defeat you and avenge the dead of Quacunsis. If I were you, I would focus more on the battle and less on such melodramatic speeches. Soul Crystal Iron Guard, attack! <laughs> Good point, M. Good point, M. Stell. There is far too much melodramatic speeches in these kind of storylines. We entered the heart of Regenberg. Let's move quickly. Our goal is to rescue Princess Melpani from the capital. 
Excellent. The main army of Rickenburg has been dispatched. The rear defensive line must be practically empty. Lord Lengius' calculations were spot on. Who would expect that a small, lightly armed team like us would be so deep in their territory at a time like this? Maybe we'll even take the capital in one fell swoop at this time. Don't assume victory before battle begins, Grenier. Yes, we're deep in Regenberg territory. Who knows when an Imperial soldier might suddenly appear? What? Huh. Rosen Seal, enclosed here. They're not on the front lines? Kakunsa soldiers? How did they get past our left and right flanks? No, they're allies of Kakunsis from the Swordsmith Legion of Elsalia. If they're here, it must mean the Iron Wall Knights have been defeated. Ah, oh, what the? Is that troublemaking Clotaire again? And that thing by his side is... Huh? What a pretty lady, right? What? What the heck is that crystal thing? It looks like a magic puppet. Is it really human? You impudent. How dare you? Do not hesitate, Clotaire. They are our enemies. Let us fight them at once. Damn it. The enemy is preparing to charge. Is there no chance of negotiating? Everyone, get ready to fight. Alright, so for this particular battle, what I'm going to run is... Matthew here has Air Slash Attack Command and Skyrim's of Light, so I think I can just run Landius, and I don't think Landius will even need his own faction buff because of this. So, you know, Landius with Move Again or whatever can work out just fine. Uh, other than that, I'm gonna, because there is Grenier as another tank, there is Matthew as a damage dealer, Almeda as a potential damage dealer. I think I'm just gonna run Tiaris and Sophia. Sophia bringing regenerate and other than that I'll have Luna as another damage dealer with Wind God Realm and Raging Thunder. So I think this will be enough to handle everything that I'm facing on this map. The treasure is actually behind Rosen Seal and Clotaire so running to grab it will probably be the one iffy thing but let's just get started. Majesty, I have lost twice to them. The Swordsmith Legion, who wield the Sword of Light from across the ocean, are not to be trifled with. The legendary Langrisser? Well, no matter who our enemies are, we have no choice. Soldiers of Regenberg, attack. Our enemy is the Queen of Regenberg. Looks like this is going to be a tough battle. Okay. So, both of them have potential, doesn't die when Delta Fatal Strike. I'm going to start with Kiena, activating Wind God Realm right away to buff everyone's mobility forward. Because I want to get characters charging up as far as they can go. So let's start moving one forward. And I can even place him all the way in front like this. To start drawing out attacks. So let's just do it. Uh, I just want to double check where the other characters would end up before I do so. So actually, maybe I'll just place him here. Tranquility. Or sorry, peace of mind in this case. Sophia can just run forward. After Grinier does. So Grinier can activate his guard skill. In case he needs to guard Luna. Just gonna have Tiaris run over here. And Matthew can run behind there. And Sophia can just run up. And I'm going to just wait. So. Might as well miracle. Matthew, 
charges forth and activates his fashion buff. Cursed Crystal, grant me power from the lives they have taken. Crystal Giant, heed my summons. Oh, there we go. There's the crystal. Oh, there's a lot of them. Damn it, she can even control a crystal demon. I should have anticipated this. Everyone be careful. Uh oh. With the way I have this set up, I'm not sure I can eliminate them within three turns. Well, let's see. So the secret for me is, I guess, Grenier has to tank all these hits from all these crystal giants. That's the only way I can get this to work, I think. Landius is doing a great job against them so far, though. They surrounded my old meta. Wow. Oh. Rosen Seal, the name that appeared in the history books on the Great War. She survived all this time by having turned her body into crystal? If it's really her, then she must be the queen Marshall Lanford and the others once fought for, right? Is there really no room for negotiation? Queen Rosenseal, we have dispelled the fog that has loomed over Regenberg for over a century, and we hold the Sword of Hope, bestowed by the Goddess of Light. We come here in pursuit of peace. After all this, are you still willing to fight us? That was your doing? No, we don't need your charity. Marshal Lanford, General Landius, in the eyes of history, they were nothing but brief passerbys. I have endured all the pain and suffering of this long war. I have lost my family and loved ones, and I have taken on the burden that those who departed were unable to bear. Regenberg no longer believes in those fairy tales where the light finally brings hope and happiness. Regenberg believes only in the power that it wields. Wake up and face reality. My lord, isn't it my queen? Alright, so all of these characters should attack Landius. Or, sorry, the archer should attack Loon, right? Flyer against Archer against Flyer. The Lancers will like to attack Landius. So if there's a way I can position Landius to tank hits that are targeted at Luna and so on. Well my priority is to get rid of all these rock these crystal colossi. I think that has to take priority over everything else. So if I have Matthew open a path for all meta to get through, we can go from there. So Matthew should crush these three if I pull everyone else away. So that's what I'm going to aim for. So Almeda can run down here and attack, for example. Probably with Holy Word. Grenier needs to use his power stab. That's a must this turn. So I'm trying to figure out how to position my characters properly to take them all out. So Grenier can power stab from this tile where Landis is on. If I place Landis here, he'll get attacked. 
And if I place Luna further away, but in Landius's guard range, that should work. So something like this. All right. So why don't I have Landius just end this turn here? I'm going to have Grenier move over here. And Power Stab. I'm going to have... Luna attack. And just stay here. Yaris can provide healing light to those two, and then I can regenerate someone like this. So everyone should be out of range of the Northern Crystal Molders, and yeah, I think that's the best I can do. So, heal up Grimier, healing light these two, and then the regenerate. Should probably be on Landius. I'm having fun just kind of, I'm sure I can do this without being perfect like this, but I'm having fun trying to figure out you know the best strategy to go about getting this map cleared as fast as possible. Archers are doing exactly as I wanted. They're attacking Luna, and Luna is being guarded by Landius, who is doing massive counterattacks to them all. Grenier is guarding these healers. Oh, there's one attack that. Hmm, there's a few attacks that Grenier is guarding instead and not counterattacking against. That's fine though. So Matthew kills two of the East Crystal Molders in the north. There are just two Crystal Molders left to wipe out. Perfect. And Grenier wiped out that one too. So just one Crystal Molder left. More cavalry enemies. Your Majesty, General Clotaire, the Iron Wall Knights are here to reinforce you. The Iron Wall Knights? That's General Helena's unit. Where is your commander? Where is Helena? Uh, well, the general, she. The general returned to the capital alone. Her last command was for us to go and support the front line. Helena never saw eye to eye with us, anyways, or should I say, the entire Imperial Army. Clotaire, this is a battle that we must win. This broken country cannot accept another defeat. I understand, your highness. Whatever fate awaits me, I will fight for you until the very end. Hmm. Huh? Overlord's Badge Landius is doing a very good job against these enemies. Oh. So now... There's just this one guy, isn't there? So... If I have all meta attack it, I should be able to just crush it and finish it off. <laughs> now I just want to make sure to avoid Rosen Seal. 
with her frost crystal. But if I stay where I am, I'm fine. Hmm. So let's just end Landis' turn again. Guess I'll have Luna attack this Archer General. And move back. Oh, Meta is definitely going to strike the Crystal Colossus. Eliminating that one and debuffing a whole bunch of enemies. Matthew. If I place Matthew here, he's going to get attacked in Grinier King Garden. So that might be for the best. If I place him here, then maybe I'll retreat like that. Okay, yeah. There are two ways to do to get, to get this working. So maybe I'll just have Matthew air slash. Wonderful. I don't really want to guard anymore. So that's why I'm making these little adjustments. Rewind. Let's have Grinier activate his guard skill. And I'm going to reactivate Miracle on everybody. Except for Matthew. So now I've split up the two parties mostly. Anyone who targets Landius will instead hit Grenier, I think. But it should be okay. This was intended because infantry characters who attack Grenier will be attacking Landius instead. And Grenier is positioned where he's going to guard against all these cavalry strikes. Grenier is actually kind of ridiculous in this. He hits way harder than my Landius does. But Landius is protecting against those infantry enemies and against those archer enemies, so it works out. Wow, look at that. Grenier basically just killed everything. So at this point, I'm going to have to send Lutna towards grabbing the treasure because there's no one else who has that kind of mobility. Uh, could have Luna attack and retreat kind of thing. That's also an option. But I think I'd rather just grab, just run for the treasure. So let's have a wind god realm, come to rewind, and move further. And over here, Landius is actually able to attack, so he can move 3, attack, and retreat 2. And retreating 2 would put me out of range of Clotaire. So let's do that. Down goes 
Who is that? Holy General. Retreat. Right. Grenier. Just regular strike and finish off the steel and vanguard here. Could place myself in range? Why not? Because I can launch out something like this. And attack blessing. Let's just do it on Landius to fight against Clotair. Finally, reactivate Faction Buff. So, Frost Crystal AoE. As long as nobody dies, I don't mind. Incinerate AoE, nobody dies like that either. I don't mind. And Luna now gets to run to, to treasure. If these bones are real, then the theory of evolution may be wrong. Okay. Two rare enchant gift packs. Eh, I'll take it. Wow, the debuffs. I don't have any real way to remove them. Well, let's do my best, I guess. Oh, Single target strike for tear. Maybe shift up. I'm going to have Palmetta, Holy Word, to finish off Clotair. Whole bunch of characters can't move. Oh, she has a free range attack. Interesting. Oh, let's start moving Luna back. I didn't even realize this blood flukes was a free range attack. So it's a. It's a, the Lena strike. We got thirty percent magic defense reduction ignored, but uh, at three range. All right, so let's just mass heal. Everybody. Trying to dispel some of these things. There's too many of them. Oh. So be it. So I guess I'll have to have them all act first. Something like toss on the AOE. And turn. I'm going to actually just retreat or move. And then up and peace of mind. Under the expectation that she attacks me. And maybe. Kill her. Strategy broke down a little bit towards the end, but um. Battle's over. Now that Luna has come back around to fight against Raven Seal, 
one attack. Lendius, second attack. Battle complete. Damn. Damn it. If only it weren't for that sword. I... I cannot let down the Empire in front of Her Majesty. I... I can still fight! This is it. We've lost. If there's no weapon that can contest the Langrisser, has Regenberg no choice but to rely on his power? We have no other choice. Retreat. The enemy has retreated. That was a battle to remember. Crystal Queen Rosen Seal. I'm sure we'll meet again someday. Now that we've driven back Queen Rosen Seal's main force, this should alleviate the pressure on our troops fighting on the other fronts, right? No, we may have won this battle. However, our plan to charge in and rescue the princess from the palace has also fallen apart. The next battle will be even more difficult. Everyone, keep your spirits high and let us continue our advance on the Regenberg capital. Okay, so eliminate the crystal giants within three turns. And I get all these rewards. So 30 Trinity Crystals, the Memory Shards, the Oliver Memory Shards, and 4 more Dream Crystals. The enemy's counterattack is fierce. Our planned surprise attack has failed. Tighten the battle lines and join up with our allied forces. It looks like this is going to become a battle of attrition. We must maintain the supply line. Don't let the enemy get the upper hand. These two really are irritating. Also, Miss Shalinka, do you need to be so serious? His lordship's plan is clear. Take it when you see it. You Crimsonian mongrels do not deserve to live. Today you shall meet your end. Forget it. Just pretend I didn't say anything. Women are all the same. <sighs> I wonder how Elusia is doing right now, facing the Soul Crystal Guard. I'm worried about her. Okay. I don't really believe him. Damn. I cannot fall here. You have already lost. All elements of battle are in our favor. You can already see how this will end. No. If I'm going to die here, then I'll drag you down to hell with me. I won't let you take another step towards Kakonsis. Is this one last of courage? Is this one last burst of courage? I see. Indeed, it takes great strength to fight to the very end, but I think that's enough for now. Hmm? The Soul Crystal Iron Guard have retreated? Why? As there is no sense in fighting you anymore, your troops no longer pose any threat to the Master's plan. Why would she not kill someone that's totally vulnerable to being killed? Makes no real sense. The Master's plan? What do you mean? Are you taunting me? Withdrawing troops without authorization is a crime against the Reckenberg Empire. Anyone can see that this broken empire is destined to collapse. The only question is, by whose hand shall it fall? Let me go. Caught at a time like this. Where did Jasmine run off to? Someone, anyone, save me! Yeah, after you've run off from the others, now you're asking them to save you. You're the Prince of Agonsis, right? Calm down, I'm not your enemy. My name is Helena. I'm a friend of your sister, Mel Penny. The Swordsmith Legion asked me about you. I'm glad to see you are safe. I won't ask how you got into the palace, but what happened here? Where are Rainforce and Mel Penny? Do you know where they are? Hmm? Huh? You're a friend of Mel Penny, Matthew, and the others? Can you help save my sister? The masked man in the throne room is up ahead with Mel Penny. That masked man seems to be plotting something terrible. Something terrible? I just overheard some stuff I didn't fully understand. Something about summoning the King of Chaos. What did you say? Okay. So there you go. Another chapter complete. More battles to fight to unlock missions, but that is it for now. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you found this video useful to you. And on that note, Nitro out.
Nitro out.